Definitely. Today it wasn't as bad as yesterday, especially up towards Live Oak County yesterday morning. There was lots of rain, but today it's just been a couple hundredths of an inch. Not so bad. Not too bad. It has been gloomy all day, though, so maybe that's put a little damper in some people's parade. But we are going to see sunshine heading into later this week. Here's a look at rainfall totals from today. You can see not too much for any one reporting station. The highest one was Felfurious at three one hundredths of an inch, but there was some radar estimates of around maybe an inch of rain towards northern Duval County, but I don't have any reporting stations out there right now. So again, very light rain today. Here's a look at what the radar has been doing over the past couple of hours. Here's the thunderstorm uh, rainstorm that's been kind of making all of that rain in northern Duval County. That's going to continue to track and we'll keep an eye on that to see how much it holds together. Also down towards Kennedy and Clayburg County line. We do have another thunderstorm that looks like it's moving northward and we'll keep an eye on that as well. Looking through future casts, we're going to see again not too much in terms of rain heading into overnight, but those two storms will continue to track through this evening. By tomorrow morning, I do expect us to stay a little bit cooler than than we were this morning with lows in the upper 60s, if not right around 70 degrees, partly cloudy skies, not a bad start to the work week. We're going to see maybe a spotty shower heading into Monday, but temperatures are going to be warmer tomorrow thanks to more sunshine and less rain chances. I think we top out in the upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. I've got us hitting 87 for our high temperature. Then for Tuesday, we're going to see again a little bit of an increase in our temperatures when that's going to slowly set the stage for the rest of this coming week. We still see sunshine and low rain chances, but those temperatures are definitely going to be on their way up. Here's a look at rain chances over the next several days. We were at about a 30 to 40% chance for today, but heading into the next few days, you can see those are pretty minimal, isolated at best. And then Thursday, we may see a little resurgence in some shower activity, but generally that is all going to stay on the low side. So the reason we're going to see lower rain chances and higher temperatures is our upper level weather pattern. So let's take a look at that. We've got lots of little highs and lows on here, but the one I want you to pay attention to is this high pressure here that's going to build back in over Texas and the central United States that is going to get sandwiched in between these two bigger low pressures. We call this an Omega block pattern because it looks like the Greek capital letter Omega. I drew that on here in a white line just to see it a little bit easier, but you can see it's going to give us not only consistent weather, but warmer and drier weather. I've got 90s for a couple of days in our forecast. We will see, like I said, a couple low rain chances because of a few little pieces of energy tracking around around this high pressure, but overall I think our atmosphere may be a little too dry in those upper levels for us to see any significant rain chances. Here at the surface though, we are going to be a little bit humid. That's going to combine with these warmer afternoon temperatures to give us heat indexes in the upper 90s just about every single day. So I know next weekend is Memorial Day weekend. It does look pretty warm, if not hot at this time with lower rain chances. And we're going to bring this back. We do uh, have one little tropical area to monitor, but the National Hurricane Center, this is the first one that they've issued that I have seen. They have it at a 10% chance for both the two and now seven day outlook instead of a five day because it's going to move into some unfavorable environment, so nothing to worry about with that one. Forecast temperatures for tonight again on the mild side, 70 for our low, 87 for our high tomorrow, though you can see some places already jumping up into the 90s by that point. Heat index tomorrow on the warm side for sure in the lower 90s. 90s here in Corpus Christi. Lots of sunshine icons here on our seven day forecast. That's definitely something that I'm looking forward to. Unfortunately, not looking forward to those 90 degree afternoons. Brian.